Okay, in this video we're going to look at the area of a regular octagon uh, given a side length. And in our problem we're going to just go ahead and say the side length is 4 to start with. The formula we usually use for area of a regular polygon is 1 half times the apothem times the perimeter. But this doesn't actually apply for this problem because it's difficult to find the apothem length. We know the perimeter, but the apothem is tough to find. So instead, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, get a little creative and draw in a couple of diagonals that create three shapes, all of which we can find the area of. The first, the top and the bottom are trapezoids, and then you have a rectangle that's in the middle. That is very valuable because when you draw in your altitude of the trapezoid, uh, a 45-45-90 degree triangle is created, which is the key. That 45-45-90 degree triangle is the key to us being able to solve this problem. Without that triangle, we wouldn't be able to do this. Uh, we know that GF is 4 because it's a side length, which means we can find um, the uh, altitude by dividing by root 2 because of our 45-45-90 degree triangle rule. Uh, and when you simplify that, you end up with 2 root 2. So that height is 2 root 2. The other side of the triangle is 2 root 2, which is valuable because when you draw in that height, you create a rectangle. And then for the same argument, we can find out that that's 2 root 2 on the other side. Now we know all the information we need to find the area of this trapezoid. Remember, the area of a trapezoid is just 1 half. The height, which in our case is 2 root 2. And then the sum of the bases, the sum of the bases is 4 plus 4. Those the two opposite sides of that middle rectangle, and then plus 4 root 2. If we go through and simplify, this was 8. 1 half times 2 root 2 is root 2, so you end up with 8 root 2. And 4 root 2 times root 2 is just 8. So that trapezoid is 8, time, 8 root 2 plus 8. The trapezoid in the bottom is identical, so if we multiply that by 2, we end up with 16 root 2 plus 16. Now the nice thing is, the area of the rectangle is easily derivable based on the information we just had because the base of the trapezoid is equal to the base of the rectangle and then the height of the rectangle DC is just 4 because it's a side length. So you just do 4 times 4 plus 4 root 2 which equals 16 plus 16 root 2. And you may look at these two things and say oh, what a coincidence the area of the two trapezoids is equal to the area of the rectangle but it's not a coincidence, which we'll find out in a second. So if I add those two together, our area of our uh, octagon is 32 plus 32 root 2. Pretty easy problem to do once you, once you draw in the correct diagonals and then look at the, um, the, the height of that trapezoid. All right, so let's try to generalize this and create a general formula for the area of an octagon. We're going to do the exact same thing we just did, draw in those two diagonals. We're going to continue to use, um, I'm going to use x as a side length. And then the procedure is exactly the same. Divide both sides by uh, root 2, and so you have x over root 2, uh, which equals x root 2 over 2 when you simplify it. So our height here is x root 2 over 2, and this length over here is x root 2 over 2. Using the same principles, we can draw in the little rectangle. And this is going to be x because those opposite sides of a rectangle are congruent. And then we know that this length is x root 2 over 2 as well. And the really nice thing is when you add up this plus this, the denominators, if you add up two things over 2 that are identical, then you, the denominator just goes away. So when we calculate the area of the trapezoids, we say 1 half times the height, which was x root 2 over 2, times the two x's. 2x, right, this x and this x, and then add these two together and you end up with x root 2. Let's take some time to simplify this well. That gets us x root 2 over 4 plus x root 2. We look at this, we notice that um, when you multiply, you end up with um, 2x squared because you've got the x times x, root 2 over 4, and you end up with 2x squared over 4 because the root 2 times root 2 just gives you 2. So the 2's can cancel out of both of those and you end up with x squared root 2 over 2 plus x squared over 2. The nice thing is there's two of those trapezoids are the same so when I multiply 
this through by that other trapezoid, or by the 2 to get the second trapezoid, we end up with x squared root 2 plus x squared. Finally, we look at the area of the rectangle. The rectangle we've already calculated. Again, it's just this minus one of those x's. So it's going to be uh, the side length x times x plus x root 2. That's what these three added together are, which gives us the exact same thing. I told you that we would prove to you that the area of the rectangle is the same as the area of the two trapezoids. So our formula becomes 2x squared plus 2x squared root 2, where x is a side length. A very nice and simple formula that's easy to remember on how to find the area of a regular octagon.